I'm not gonna lie, my head is pounding right now. There's a little bit of blood in my spit. Basically, what happened was... Uh, good morning, everyone. Yesterday, I had a bit of an accident, just a little one. And I can't really talk very well because my lips hurt, but good morning. Now, Mal and I have the honor of flying to Florida to meet up with some other friends and go to Disney World. And it's not the most ideal circumstances, but we'll get it done. So, yay. Probably the worst part about this whole little accident situation is that Mallory kind of has to help a lot more. And I'm not as helpful as I was before, so. Kind of sad about it, but Mal, you're trooping, aren't you? Oh yeah. What time are you guys flying out today? Like eight. 8 a.m.? Our flight's at eight, yeah. So we're probably gonna go get some breakfast. Yeah, I think Devin threw out the idea of Mal and I deciding just to drive there instead because we have a layover and she said instead of she, 15 hours yeah she said y'all's day would be y'all would get there till tonight and yeah. y'all left now y'all would get there at like 11. in the morning yes yeah because it's only five hours from here all right well i'll consider it okay so like i was saying with devin mal and i are going to try to rent a car because apparently it's going to save us a lot of time but we have to see if we can cancel the the flights and we don't have a lot of time to do it because so our flight go boards and 20 minutes. No way. Yes. Bye. Hug you. That's okay. Yeah, All right, Hunter. Bye. Peace out, dude. Y'all be careful. Okay, guys. So we just called American Airlines and we were successfully able to cancel the flight. Now we have to go see if the car rental is going to work out. The way that Mal scheduled our flight for today, if we were to take it, is we would have to fly from Florida, so Panama City, to Dallas and then have a layover for like five and a half hours and then from Dallas all the way to Orlando, which is also in Florida. So we'd go from Florida to Dallas back to Florida, which honestly sounds crazy. And I think we could have done it potentially. With me getting hurt and also Addy really not doing well, we decided this would probably be a lot better to do it this way. So wish us luck. It ended up working out a very nice gentleman named Ray. Got us a car early. And so we're gonna be able to drive there, which is gonna save so much time. We just looked at the drive. It's gonna be about five and a half hours to get there. Mal is gonna drive the first portion because I'm not gonna lie, my head is pounding right now. And I don't think that I would be very fit to drive. Orlando, Disney World, Casey Casey, Shelby and Dylan, we are coming and hopefully in one piece. Right, Mal? Well, we're already not in one, one piece. Yeah, yeah, so you're in one piece. That's good enough, right? I am, yeah. All right, we just stopped in Tallahassee, Florida. We are going to get some coffee at a place that Mal found. I still feel horrible. In fact, I'm starting to feel worse. There's a little bit of blood in my spit, and I'm hoping that that's not anything that needs to be worried about. I feel like really ungood right now, but at least coffee is gonna help. Uh, if I saw it. I stopped. All right, guys, and we are now back on the road. And I thought now would be a better time than ever to kind of talk about the crash. Okay, watch out, Hunter. This is for you. For glory! Basically, what happened was I was riding Devin's dirt bike. So Hunter and Devin, they both have dirt bikes. Devin has this little one. And I was just being a little reckless. I tried doing like a jump on it and I tried like five times and I just kept not getting any air. So then I decided I'm just gonna full send it and I kind of went full throttle and I went over it. And then when I hit the ground, my arms locked out. And if you know anything about riding dirt bikes or motorcycles, if you lock out your arms, it's, you know, yeah, it's not good. The only thing ahead of me was basically this big old wooden fence. And luckily I didn't hit it head first. And luckily my, my head, didn't hit anything more dangerous like a, like one of the wooden beams. It could have been a lot worse. And it was a big learning experience for me. You know, Mal had to talk with me about being safe. Luckily, I didn't black out. I don't think I got a concussion, but uh, yeah, we'll have to see. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Mal and I are talking about potentially uh, stopping by a, a hospital to maybe get x-rays of my head when we get to Orlando, uh, purely because I'm kind of spitting out some blood. So we'll see what happens and we'll update you guys. We are about 15 minutes away from the villa that we're staying in. Plan is Mal is going to take Addy straight to the resort and I'm gonna go drop off the car. But I'm also gonna go to urgent care to make sure that I am okay. Great, so I called my mom. My mom was an ER nurse and she's been a nurse for a very, very long time. And she was like, Cameron, 
should probably just go get checked out. Having a little bit of blood in your spit is maybe not the most ideal thing. Uh, so hopefully nothing's wrong with me, but my mom was just a little bit concerned about the spit in my blood. She was like, hopefully it's not, what'd she say? Crani cranial spinal, brain spine, something like that. She was just like, they need to test that, that blood that's in your mouth and make sure that it's not from my brain. No dirt bike riders here. Oh, hey. Hello. Oh my gosh, hey. we're here. Hey, look at that, how you doing? <laughs> Good to see you, ouch. Okay, Great so buddy. what are we doing right now? Well, we're about to do the tour. Yes. I. The tour of the upstairs. Peak. I sink to peak already. Oh, you want to do the full tour right now? Yeah. Okay. Three, two, one. Well, come with me. You go in front of me. I like being behind you better. Okay, very nice. Very nice. <laughs> oh my gosh, there's so many bedrooms. There, I think it's like nine bedrooms. Oh my goodness gracious. Woo! Oh my gosh, we can have meetings here. What? Oh my gosh, the kids' rooms are so cool. No way. Can you imagine being a kid and like going, like being in these rooms? This is so cool. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, Matt, look at the beds. Oh my gosh, the way, oh, you like can climb up there and stuff and this then- This is just like one big fort, that's so fun. Oh gosh, and then check this out, Mal, Mal, Mal. You can go up there. You can see Look, there's it. like a little window and there's another bed up there. But it has a little- Oh, this one is so cool. Whoa. Dude. Is this like pirates? Oh my gosh, I would be fighting my brother so hard to get the- Oh, it's wizard. Oh my gosh, dude. Oh my gosh, dude, these are so cool. I'm, I'm- the slide, do you wanna go on the slide? I, I will later when okay. I'm not feeling like I wanna die. Yeah. It is the next morning and we are headed to... Disney World. Yay! Little update, Cam ended up going to straight to the ER last night mm -hmm. after we ate dinner and everything to oh go get my checked out. Gosh, they injected me with everything last night, just which I'm, I'm, okay, I'm happy with just to be safe. It is 1 a.m. and I'm tired. They gave me like some fancy pain medication, which made me feel very funny and tired. Yeah. And they gave me another tetanus shot. They gave me IV fluid and they like bandaged me up. They gave me all these medications, which I'm like, I don't even know how necessary all that stuff was, but you know, nonetheless, they gave it all to me. Luckily, after the CT scan and the x-rays, they're like, you're a healthy young man. Don't even worry. Just. Maybe don't ride roller coasters at Disney World. But guess what? I'm gonna ride Disney coasters. So all those things, he's on the mend and we're very thankful that it was not worse. Cam got home at 5.30 in the morning. Mm-hmm, yeah. So he, how are you feeling? You're on what, you said two and a half hours of sleep right now? I think total right now about two, yeah, two and a half hours. That is crazy. How are you alive right now? I don't think I am. We spent the next two days at Disney World with our friends, which was an absolute blast. Luckily, I was healed enough by now to actually have fun at the parks. I did have to stop by their little hospital first aid centers several times to replace my bandages. And after everything that went down with the accident, it was really nice just being around my wife and daughter and being at Disney World. But I will say it was really sad saying bye to our friends who we had grown really close to over these past couple days. Okay guys, it's another morning, but sadly we have to say bye to a bunch of our friends. This is Dylan. It was a really good time. I know, it's unfortunate it was just so short. Yeah, next time uh, we can hang out for a little bit longer. Yeah, like a month or two. Maybe, or... maybe we could even uh, move in together. I don't think that's a great idea. <laughs> Shelby, it was an absolute bye. honor getting to meet you guys. It was so good to meet y'all. Mm -hmm. Mal, you wanna say bye? I already did. We did. You missed it, mm -hmm. sorry. All right, sadly guys, we are also about to lose our other friends, Casey and Casey. So sad. It's been a lot of fun. It's been yes. a lot of fun. So goodbye. I know. Goodbye, Casey. Goodbye, I'm gonna miss y'all. All right, Mal, say your bye. I'm gonna miss y'all. It's so sad saying bye, and you know you're not gonna see each other for a long time. I know. Yeah. We need to meet in the middle of the country. Yeah.